Hello and welcome to Nightly News. I'm your co-host Kunja Shiramba. And I'm your co-host Celine Eric. And we're here to bring you local, national and international news. In international news coming out of my home country, Namibia, we celebrate our 29th year of independence today. Namibia gained independence in 1990 and I just want to wish a happy Independence Day to all my fellow Namibians. Indeed, what a cool story. And moving on to our next international news story, we know that many of you have seen the viral video online of a boy cracking an egg on the Australian politician Fraser Anning's head. That video has been shared millions of times on the internet, and we have a story for you about what really went down. Senator Anning blamed Muslim immigration for New Zealand's deadly Christchurch mosque shooting that left 50 dead and many more injured. The senator's comments about Muslims deeply disturbed a 17-year-old Will Connolly, a.k.a. Egg Boy, to the internet, who smashed a raw egg on the senator's head, after which the senator appears to punch him in the same video. The cops did arrest Connolly, but he was released without charge as the police further investigate the incident. After the video went viral, a GoFundMe page was created for Connolly to help him pay with legal fees and purchasing of more eggs. It has generated over $75,000, and Connolly says he will donate most of the money to the victims of the Christchurch mosque shooting. Wow, what a story. I know, I mean, the bravery in that kid is just off the charts, and 17 is such a young age to do mm. something so monumental. Um, but I do have to say, I don't think that he knew he was going to go viral. I feel like a lot of times with viral videos, the people in it don't under like know how big it's going to get yeah. until it happens. In national news, a high school senior from Kentucky is suing his local health department after he felt discriminated against for choosing not to get the chickenpox vaccine. Jerome Kanko, who cites religious reasons for choosing not to get vaccinated, is suing because he feels that his First Amendment rights are being infringed. Students like Kanko, who don't have chickenpox vaccines, are currently not permitted to attend the school. The high school Kanko attends has cancelled all extracurricular activities after 32 cases of chickenpox were, recorded, were reported in the school. Many Americans all over the country were angered and upset after the FBI uncovered what's being known as the biggest college admission scam ever in the history of the United States. This cheating scandal included 50 wealthy parents who paid to get their kids into elite colleges across America, such as the University of Southern California and the University of Texas Austin. This story has struck a chord with current college students who didn't rely on their parents' money to get into the schools of their dreams. And in local news, on Tuesday night, a Kittias County deputy was fatally shot and another officer was taken to Harborview Medical Center with gunshot wounds after a police chase turned violent. The fallen deputy was identified by law enforcement as 42-year-old Ryan Thompson. Thompson had been with the Kittias Police Department for almost 15 years and he is survived by his wife and three children. As, of, as for the injured officer, 22-year-old Benito Chavez, um, he is currently in satisfactory condition. The suspect in the shooting has not been identified yet, and all we know about him at the time is he died from the gunshot wounds at the Kittias Valley Hospital. We're both sending our deepest condolences to the family of Ryan Thompson and wishing for a speedy recovery of Officer Chavez. Families of police officers are in such a tough position knowing these kinds of things could happen at any given time, but they still make the sacrifice each and every day for the safety of all of us. So we are just so thankful for all our officers in blue today. Jimmy Kimmel has been making local headlines this week after making a March Madness joke on his show about Gonzaga State University. For our viewers who aren't familiar with Gonzaga, it is a private Roman Catholic university located in Spokane, Washington, home of the Bulldogs. On Monday night, Kimmel unleashed his true feelings about Gonzaga, saying that he doesn't believe Gonzaga exists because he's never heard of it outside of college basketball. This sparked a thread of tweets put out by a Twitter page called Visit Spokane, who called him out with 10 tweets that dished out knowledge about the very real university that is Gonzaga State. We wish everyone watching a great break filled with lots of sunshine, no homework, and plenty of fun. Once again, I'm your co-host Kunja Shiramba. And I'm your co-host Celine Eric. Take, Take it, it easy, Luz.